Well, hello, and here today on the Rusty Glove Box, what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about my solar system and uh, some of the updates that I've done on it. I hadn't done anything about that for a little while, so uh, let's come along and check it out. Well, this is my little solar farm. I've got a really small setup. Uh, I've got four of the eco-worthy uh, auto tracking towers and uh, been really pretty happy with them overall. They are not without their maintenance. They they will uh, require a little work to keep them going, but I think I'm on the right path on figuring out some things. All right, this right here is your actuator. I just ran the original ones till they failed. Uh, yours may last a long time, may not last that long. You can get them warranted through the uh, dealer, but uh, if you get much over six months, it just the interaction gets to be a headache. It's just cheaper just to buy one off Amazon. But the new actuator that I bought, this is uh, 3,000 newton meters, which is about 650 pounds of force that uh, it's capable of doing. And the original one, is just 1500 so that's half you know 350 they're the exact same size the only difference is the bracket here you have to swap them out they have a little larger pin and uh but everything comes with the kit when you get it you can get these through uh eco worthy or you can get them from uh other suppliers uh eco worthy is getting competitive on their prices so uh you know probably the next one i get i'll get from them this is the eco worthy uh tracker controller two axis tracker and when you get yours it's going to look just like this you can when yours fails for one reason or another uh you can get one from eco worthy and they may drop down in price some I can get this one off Amazon for about $78, $80, something like that. And the bonus uh, with Amazon, you can get like a little insurance uh, with it, two-year insurance or three-year insurance and for $11, $15. And when this one does fail, uh, being that this cost about $80, you'll get a debit card for $80. And uh, that way you can put that money toward another controller. Well, here, uh, what I like to use is this Victron equipment. And it's, it's very user-friendly, has an app on your phone. And a lot of other brands do too, if you if you don't like uh, Victron, there's a lot of options out there. I've got a smart shunt. It uh, gives me a lot of good information on, on uh, consumption of power and all that. Here I've got my uh, 120, 240 volt power inverter and uh, it's a 4,000 watt unit. And it does really pretty well. It supplies probably 75% of what I use in the shop. So, uh, I'm real happy with it. Uh, I operate the system off 24 volt DC. And so a maximum charge for 24 volt DC is uh, roughly 28.3 volts. It could be a little higher, any higher than that, and you'd kind of possibly overcharging. But what I have is eight uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries they're uh, 100 amp hours and so i have a, a decent amount of storage and maybe someday uh, i'll upgrade to a little different battery but these have a very long shelf life and so they probably will be around for many years um what would i do different uh, Right now, I'm just, I'm pretty happy with everything. It uh, works well for me. And uh, something else that I have, I'll show you what I got. 
Just for my general information, I have a voltage meter here to monitor my DC voltage. And also just a little chart. You know, you can't, you can't use this chart 100% uh, to be true, but it gives you a ballpark idea on your voltage, where you're at and what percentage of charge you have. I had bought this. This is a transfer switch and I transfer power straight into my electrical panel. And it's just like a regular generator transfer switch. You can see switches in the up position. I'm on solar, middle is off, and line is pointed down to the bottom. Uh, I have a W here for well pump, and this is just here for north. Uh, I've got my security cameras on the shop on the north side here being powered by some outlets and all that. So... Anyway, that just kind of, in case I'm working on something and still want uh, everything to work, uh, I can switch those to utility power. Here's something that I changed. I, I got rid of the Harbor Freight uh, carport tent. It uh, started getting some sun tears in it. And uh, so I ordered this little building, a little 10 by 12 off Amazon, came in three boxes put it together uh, over a few days and uh, it went together really pretty well. And yes, a possibility, I might put me some solar panels up there. You know, it's free space, so might as well give it a go. So anyway, guys, if you're planning on just playing around with solar as a hobby, I'll tell you what, these eco-worthy trackers are, are good and I enjoy them, but just be aware there's gonna be a little maintenance to it just like anything else and uh, but if you want to get your feet wet in solar, it's a good way to give it a try. This is Rusty Glove Box. Thanks for watching. And I'm out of here.